properties of vector addition. First of all, only vectors of same type that represents the same physical quantity can be added and the sum also represents the same physical quantities. What it means is we can only add velocities with velocities, forces with forces, momentum with momentum. It does not make any sense to add the position of a particle with the velocity because these two quantities will have different dimensions and adding two vector quantities will give us a quantity which has same dimension as the two quantities. For example, adding two forces will give us a new force. Adding two velocities will give us a new velocity. Second, vector addition is commutative. It simply means a vector plus b vector is equal to b vector plus a vector. That is, the order of adding vector is not important. Third, vector addition is associative. It means a vector plus b vector plus c vector will be equal to a vector plus b vector plus c vector. The proof of it is very simple. Let us draw three vectors a vector, b vector and c vector. And let me identify these points as p, q, R and S. The point P, Q, R, S forms a quadrilateral. If we look at the points S, P, Q, they form a triangle. In this triangle, the side S, Q will be equal to the vector sum of S, P and P, Q. And therefore, S, Q will be equal to A vector plus P vector. Now look at the triangle SQR. In this triangle, the side SR will be the vector sum of SQ and QR. The side SQ is equal to A vector plus B vector. And the side QR is equal to C vector. And therefore, the side SR will be equal to A vector plus B vector plus C vector. Now, look at the points PQR they also constitute a triangle PQR. In this triangle, the side PR will be the vector sum of side PQ and QR. And therefore, PR will become equal to B vector plus C vector. Now, looking at the triangle SPR, in this triangle, the side SR will be equal to SP vector plus PR vector, which is equal to b vector plus c vector plus a vector and thus the same side sr represents a vector plus b vector plus c vector which is equal to b vector plus c vector plus a vector and finally if r is a vector which is sum of a vector plus b vector the magnitude of r will be equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta in this formula, if theta increases from 0 degree to 180 degree, where theta is the angle between A and B, the value of cos theta we know decreases from 1 to minus 1. And when cos theta decreases from 1 to minus 1, the value of R will also decrease. When cos theta will be equal to 1, R will be equal to A plus B. And when cos theta will be equal to minus 1, R will be equal to A minus B. And therefore, R decreases from A plus B to A minus B. Thus, magnitude of R lies between A minus B modulus to A plus B modulus always. Mathematically, A minus B modulus will be less than R, which will further be less than A plus B modulus. And thus, the magnitude of resultant of two vectors will always lie between the difference in magnitude of the two vector and the sum of magnitude of the two vectors.